This is a quick demonstration and how to use an oscilloscope. You can think of the oscilloscope as an x-ray of what's inside the circuit. So in this case what we're looking at is a waveform. On my left is a function generator where I can generate different functions. In this case I've selected the sinusoid. It has 50 kilohertz frequency and an amplitude of 10 volts peak. I can select other functions in the function generator such as a triangle wave and a square wave. We'll stick with the, with the sinusoidal wave. So now I'm going to talk about this oscilloscope. There's uh, many variations of oscilloscopes. So I'll just talk about this version for now. This can be found in your multi-sim and here we have grid both vertically and horizontally it's divided into divisions we have basically channel A and channel B so I can input two signals from a circuit. Here I'm only using channel A. It has a scale of 5 volts per division. So each division here is supposed to measure 5 volts. So in the function generator we have 10 volts peak. And in this case we have two divisions. Two divisions times 5 volts per division, the divisions cancel out, leaving us with 10 volts peak. Now you can see here what I displayed is one full cycle. One full cycle corresponds to 1 over 50 kilohertz. And 1 over 50 kilohertz corresponds to 20 microseconds. Now if you see the time scale here, we have uh, for the horizontal axis, we have two microseconds per division and we have for one cycle the one cycle goes through 10 divisions 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 so we had 10 divisions times 2 microseconds per division gives us 20 microseconds and 1 over 20 microseconds gives us 50 kilohertz now let's vary the amplitudes. Let's make it 5 so we can easily see that it cuts in half or it goes over one division. Let me change that to 5. And you can see that it cuts in half. Now I can double the signal by going to the scale right here in my voltage scale for channel A and just increase it to 10. And you can see it's half but then this is uh, 5 volts peak so I'll divide it and you could see it goes this is 2 volts per division so 2 4 and halfway is 5 now if I go back to 5 and do this at 10 again you could see that it does vary now let's do the same thing for the horizontal axis or the time scale which I'll div divide this by 25. Let's see if I can just input it here from the keyboard. 25 and you can see it's half a scale. If I double my frequency to 100 we should see two cycles and that's one cycle and two cycles. So let's see if this is 50, uh, 100 kilohertz. So with 100 kilohertz we have two microseconds for division Let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay. Divisions times 2 is 10 microseconds. 1 over 10 microseconds is 100 kilohertz. So that's the general idea of the oscilloscope. It provides like an x-ray equivalent of what's inside a circuit as you go to various points within a circuit.